Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the Ninjago Dragons Rising update for the Earth Elemental Power and questioning whether or not Earth is officially the most overpowered element among the entire catalog of Ninjago Elemental Powers. Now, before we dive into today's discussion, I must give you guys a very heavy spoiler warning. This video will contain spoilers for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 Part 2. You have been warned, as a lot of this information comes courtesy of various Ninjago leaks. So over the past several months, we have received a bunch of Dragons Rising leaks, one of which talks about a new power that Cole will allegedly have in Ninjago Dragons Rising Part 2. That of course being a new ability to turn his entire body into stone, essentially a stone golem. And we do have an image of this alleged stone golem, that of course being this picture right here, the first official photo that we ever saw for Dragons Rising Part 2. I think that is is a very cool ability, especially as a huge coal fan, but is the earth elemental power super overpowered now compared to other elements out there? Because other elemental powers don't have abilities like this, and with coal especially, the earth power already had an edge over the others. More specifically with the earth punch, a power that only earth elemental masters can use, also the spinjitsu burst, which should be able to apply to every elemental power out there, but so far in Ninjago we've only seen earth use it. So now in addition to those two powers that are pretty much exclusive to the earth element, we now have this power right here, the ability for Cole to turn himself into a stone golem, essentially make himself a stone suit of armor comprised of pure earth elemental power. We probably will not see something like this for ice or lightning or even fire, as cool as that may be, but it's not like they don't have other abilities on their own either, right? All of those powers can do things that earth can't do, but the earth elemental power is most definitely one of the strongest powers out there. I'd say Cole Cole's power is definitely one of the strongest among the team, if not the strongest, aside from Lloyd of course. But then again, what exactly is energy compared to Earth? How strong is it? Does Lloyd still have other properties of other elemental powers? It doesn't seem like it. So Earth could very well be the strongest elemental power right now, especially if Ninjago keeps on adding new abilities like this. Though I must admit, as a huge fan of Cole, it's hard not to get excited over certain powers like this, because my favorite ninja keeps on getting new powers and that's awesome. But at the same time, I recognize that he might be a little bit overpowered now compared to other members of the ninja team. So I feel like if Dragons Rising introduces a new ability for Cole, maybe they should do the same for the other ninja as well, just to keep things relatively fair and balanced among the team. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Feel free to leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think about all of this? Do you like the sound of this new power that Cole will apparently have in Dragons Rising Part 2? And do you feel like the Earth Elemental Power is simply overpowered when compared to other elements on the ninja team. Leave all your thoughts down below and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.